Hello, are you planning to give blood within the next few weeks? Well, there are some risks that you should know about. One of these risks is dealing with the immune system. For instance, one study revealed that giving blood significantly decreases the function and amount of natural killer cells. In fact, on day two following the blood donation, there was a significant decrease of 88%. Day five correspondingly had a 72% reduction. Following that, this trend goes on until day 12, until the normal levels were once again reached. Natural killer cells are essential in things like fighting influenza or even Ebola. Why is this important for me? Well, did you realize that right now in the United States, we're experiencing something called flu season? In fact, if you'll take a look at this map, it's going to be changing in color and you see the darker reddish colors that are appearing there in the south are an indication of high levels of influenza and we can see this spreading even more until the last data set that we have reveals that half the country is contaminated with high levels of influenza and this was published uh, several weeks ago and so you can just guess that influenza has continued to spread through the country. We are really at the height of flu season right now. What is the point of all this? Well, if you plan to donate, you need to keep in mind there are some very specific risk factors that you need to avoid. It's best not to give blood if you have very recently or will soon travel via an airplane. You will be exposed to large crowds. You will not be able to control the nutrient quality of your food, of your meals, and you will be potentially staying up late at night. Now, these are all things that could be somewhat avoided, um, but you may be even finding yourself in an area of increased risk due to living in areas such as the dry south western United States. You see in this map, uh, areas that have low levels of vapor pressure are at great increased risk for airborne transmission of influenza. So more severe influenza infections can result in these areas. So what are some of the major cities? Well, Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, to name one, Phoenix, Arizona, Tucson. Uh, these areas are places where you probably want to bypass the blood donation until flu season is over.